Okay, this tutorial is all about um, uh, making the Vista logo in Corel Draw. Uh, I've cut and pasted this one from the l from the web. So as you know, this it's a low resolution uh, image. So what we're gonna do is we're going to recreate this uh, Vista logo in Corel Draw XG. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, make the circle. So click my circle tool. I'm gonna draw that one. Okay. I'm fine with that and I'll just move it over here so we have a visual comparison. Now to make it faster, uh, the tutorial faster, I already created swatches here so I know which color to choose. So first I have this big circle. I'm going to create another circle. So you go to edit, duplicate. And I'll make the other circle smaller and put it in the lower uh, section of the... And I'll make it oblong like that. So in Corel, when you click on an object and you go to edit, uh, cop copy properties from. So I go copy the fill. I click on this one. So that's my fill. And the other one, edit, copy from, fill of this. Now I've got two objects now. I'm going to select both and remove the outline. No outline. Now we're going to use the blend tool here. So you click the... or select both objects by making a crossing window and you go to FX and you go to uh, blend so when you click on blend in here these are the steps of the blend the higher the steps I'll put it 60 when you click on apply the smoother the uh, the the gradation okay so let's close this one and then let's go back to our original one okay now I'm gonna do this uh, reflection here so what I'm gonna do is create another circle, a smaller circle, okay. just put it in there and I'll fill it with white and then remove the background. So outline, remove outline. And then I'm going to use the interactive transparency tool. Then I'll make a gradient to uh, effect by click and dragging it down. So now I have that one. Okay, so I'll just enlarge that one. So that effect. Now we're gonna do the this logo, the squares. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, use my Bezier tool. It's this one, Bezier tool. So I click, click, click. I'm just tracing it. And I'm gonna close it. Okay. Let's check if it's the fill is. I uh, mean the object is closed by clicking on a fill color. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, now I'll just remove the outline again and go back to my object here. Now, I'm just going to make the outline a different color so we could see how it looks like. Okay, so we got that one. Go to my shape tool, click on the line that I want to make curve, right mouse click, and go to curve. There you go. I'll go this one, click, right mouse click to curve. Okay. So that looks fine to me. And I'm going to zoom out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just going to dupli duplicate this. Okay. Edit, duplicate, and bring this down there. Okay. And if you notice, this one is just a mirror image here. Mirror vertically, or horizontally. Or you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do a new set of objects. So click, 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 and then close. I'll just make the outline yellow so that we could see it. Okay, and go to your shape tool and click on the uh, the line that you want to make curve and click on to curve. Then you can edit the curve. Click, right mouse click to curve. There you go. And I'm just gonna duplicate this, edit duplicate, and then bring it down. Perfect. Now I'm ready to move this over to my logo there now I'm just gonna guess what color it is so I'll just make the first one orange okay make it darker orange so in Corel you know this color swatches if you click on it you will see more colors so I'll just make it darker orange and maybe right there okay and then this one, I'll just make it green. Okay, we're gonna fix that colors later and make it 
lighter orange and this one make it blue okay I'll select the four object and remove the outline go to your outline tool and click on X for no outline okay now in in Corel if you click on an object and make your make it a mesh mesh fill tool or uh, if you go to the last icon of your toolbars and in the interactive field you go to the mesh tool it creates a mesh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this okay highlight the nodes and click on yellow click here highlight the nodes of the lower left corner highlight the nodes make it white and highlight this node and make it white perfect what I'm gonna do is going to select these four objects and I'll just make a drop shadow drop shadow there you go okay so now I'm just gonna group this one and there's our new look now if you want to edit the colors it's always, always easy because we're running out of time here we just click on this one and say this one you want it to make it yellow here see so I'll just group that one and then I'll put the reflection okay first you duplicate this whole thing okay and then grab this one okay this node and bring it down it over there and you go to bitmap convert to bitmap okay make sure transparent background is checked and then click ok then you can do your transparency from top to down there you go I'll just make a background here I'll just make a gray background so arrange order to back of page there you have the Vista logo.